Hello again folks, it's me, Mr. Weston, with some more maths work for you. Boo! Yay! I don't know, I'm imagining you're boo. Anyway, uh, I'm only joking. Um, I hope you're all well. We're going to carry on with some algebra, we're going to carry on with expanding. Um, now, the expanding video, expanding 4, is now uploaded if you need to go back and review that. I will leave this one for you as well. The only difference between that video and this video is that this one includes some negative signs as well. So you must watch expanding 4 before this one. Anyway, the idea about multiplying out brackets, we spoke uh, last lesson about timesing everything in the first brackets by everything in the second brackets and then tidying up and simplifying at the end. So if we take a look at this one here, we've got to multiply a plus 3 by a minus 2. We don't know what a plus 3 is, we don't know what a minus 2 is, so therefore we can't literally simplify what's in the brackets already, so we'll have to multiply them as they stand. So the idea is, I'll just make it a little bit bigger for you, and my best handwriting. The first value gets times by the first value, so a times a, then we're going to multiply a by the minus 2, and then we're going to multiply the plus 3 by the a, and finally plus 3 by minus 2. So the four arrows we spoke about last lesson, they're still here, okay? Um, if we just go through and follow all those, and then left to left, and then left to right, and so on, if we do it in a systematic way, a times a is a squared. Easy. a times, and again, we've got minus 2 here. So previously I was just saying, well, a times 2 is 2a, and put it down. Of course we've got minus here. So a times minus 2 will be minus 2a. It's going to make it a lot more difficult, but you've got to be more conscious of those signs and then positive 3 or plus 3 times a that's fine 3 times a is 3a or plus 3a that we've got there and this one here of course the problem we've got now is we've got plus 3 but times it by minus 2 so positive times a negative gives you a negative so 3 times minus 2 is going to be minus 6 and so that will be your final bit Again, we spoke about the importance with these of simplifying where we can. Of course, that's the middle of it. So we've just got the a squared on its own, can't do anything with that. The minus 6 on its own, again, no like terms, can't do anything with that. But a's here can combine like terms and all that. And so we pull them in, we'll be left with a squared. Minus 2a add 3a. What does that give us? So minus 2 add 3. It's the same as 3 minus 2 if you want to think of it like that. Okay, again, we've spoken about rearranging things. But minus 2a add 3a is plus 1a. Now, plus 1a, hmm, would I write it down? No, I would just write plus a and then leave it as minus 6 at the end. If you wrote this, a squared plus 1a minus 6, hmm, it, it's, it's correct. It's technically correct, but it's just not what's done in maths. You don't need that number one. So that's the one I'm looking for there, okay? Okay, we'll have a look at this next one, all right? We've got a minus five times a minus six. What's different about this one? Well, they're both negative, great. Anyway, let's have a look. And we'll just write it out a little bit bigger. And then we'll put our arrows on, which is what I still do. So that times that, that times that, that times that, and that times that. So a times a gives me a squared again. Nothing uh, hard about that. A times minus 6 will give me minus 6A, very similar to last time. Minus 5 times A. Okay, well, it's negative times the A this time, but all right, minus 5A. No great shakes there. And then, of course, you've got to be really careful. This is why we do all that work with negative numbers. Minus 5 times minus 6. Well, minus times a minus is a plus. And so minus 5 times minus 6 is plus 30. You have no many people write minus 30 there. It's wrong. It's plus 30. Of course, just the same as before, we can simplify by grouping the data in the middle. Data? What was I saying data for? To like terms. I don't know what my brain is. Anyway, minus 6a minus 5a in the middle will simplify to minus 11a. They're both negative. Again, just make sure it's all about knowing your negative numbers to be good at this. And then the plus 30 stays at the end. And of course, what we're saying is that this has the same value as what we started with. It's amazing. If you just think of a number for A, you will do substitution later on. But if you think of a value for A, A is 2, let's say, put it in this, what you end up with will be the same either way. They have the same value, which is the clever bit. Okay, uh, we're only got four today, but the next one we're going to look at is the same, but with coefficients in front of the A's. That basically means not just A, it's going to be 2A or 3A or 4A. The principle is the same, though. And so if we just times it out, 2a take away 3, 4a add 5. If we do our arrows for start, which you should be getting pretty used to, that makes it look like that. 
Always left to left, so 2a times 4a. We've done a little bit of this in our um, simplified expressions, but 2 times 4 is 8. a times a is a squared, so we get 8a squared. 2a times 5, or plus 5, is plus 10a, or 2 5s are 10, so plus 10a. Minus 3 times 4a, well, minus 3 times 4 is minus 12, so minus 3 times 4a will be minus 12a. And then the last one, minus 3 times plus 5, so minus times the plus gives us a minus, minus 3 times 5 will give me minus 15. By now you're getting pretty used to just sort of combining the two in the middle, and this is why we try and do it in order every time, consistency. 8a squared, what is plus 10a take away 12a, or 10 take away 12? That's what you're basically thinking. So plus 10 take away 12 is minus 2, so we've got minus 2a left over, and then minus 15. And again, that is an equivalent expression to what we started with there. Okay, and the final one, all right, we can do this quite quickly. We'll just write it out in brackets. So 3a take away 1, 6a minus 4. I have got my new bulbs actually in the lights. It should be a bit brighter now. It's a bit of a white light, this. It's these lead bulbs anyway. Um, so this time, double negatives. Let's have a look. We'll come to that in a minute. 3a times 6a. 3 sixes are 18, so 3 times 6 is 18, 3a times 6a is 18a squared. The first term, 3a times minus 4 is minus 12a, minus 1 times 6a. Well, minus 1, I'm just basically turn it to negative, 1 times anything stays the same, so minus 6a. And of course, be careful, minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. If we simplify the two bits in the middle. Keep the same on the left. What is minus 12a minus 6a? It goes down again, so minus 18a. And then you've got the plus 4 at the end. And that will be your simplified version of it. Okay, your turn questions are very similar. All right, have a go at those. But as I said, make sure you've gone through the expanding four ones first. Good luck, and I will speak to you later on this week. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.